Build your brand in 2020. I know you've heard of it, that people always say, brand yourself, not your company. And I keep continually seeing people branding their company. But then I get asked this question, well, how the heck do I brand me? Or how do I build a brand on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram in 2020? Well, let me tell you, because I see you see a bunch of stuff out there. You really do. A bunch of crazy stuff, I think. See, people really want to know you. I mean, I attract a certain crowd. I know that. So when I talk, I talk to that crowd. I don't talk to other people because that's just not me. And if I'm trying to attract other people, sometimes I do things that just shouldn't be out there. So if you would ask your tribe, your crowd, what do they like about you best? It could be the color of your hair, right? <laughs> could be the color of your eyes. Could be that, man, I'm always doing my videos in my RV. Or it could be that I'm just me. You know, that I smile a lot, that I don't smile a lot, my voice. But the key is you just gotta be you. And the right people are going to find you. Now, why would you ever want to brand you? Because there's so many fish in the sea. So you wanna find your niche and double down, get a little farther down in that niche and then be you and start finding your tribe. The biggest thing is that your story, right, is going to be what makes you stand out. And we all have stories, your hero story, your journey. So what you need to do to find your story is to go back in your life and start documenting things, wins, losses, challenges, all the problems you overcame. And then from there, you start building a story, one that will resonate with your crowd. See, my story is this. I tried network marketing and thought, man, I shot out to make money. And I soon found out that I'm an introvert. I didn't like going to malls. I didn't like calling people cold calling people. So I fell flat on my face. And then in 2008, 2007, I think it was, I read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and I got so excited because he's talking about passive income. And it was talking about real estate and rentals, and I already had a rental. So I went out at that time. It was so easy to get a loan, right? I went and bought a fourplex, but I didn't pay attention to the numbers and I overspent. So then I did this next smartest thing. I went out and bought another house to flip it. And then that bubble hit. And I got caught. I'm not going to save my pants down, but I got caught. And holy cow, I went through foreclosure, through bankruptcy. It was the toughest time in my life. Right? I didn't want to see anybody. I walked downtown with my head down. I felt like such a loser. I owed people money. I hate it. And I swore I would never do anything like that again. But, you know, once you're an entrepreneur, things start pulling you back. So I started thinking this time I'm going to become an online marketer and I'm going to go to school and that's exactly what I did and I wasn't a success overnight I tried things they didn't work I tried them again they didn't work I tried things they didn't work but I kept going until I found the secret sauce so what's your story right take the time to write things down your journey in life could be as a youngster Go as far back as you want and start writing down losses, challenges, wins, what you had to overcome, and start telling your story. The next thing I want to talk about is know your audience. See, so if you're trying to sell to everybody, and man, I did. I tried to sell to everybody. This is the dumbest thing in the world. But see, when you're trying to sell to everybody, you're selling to nobody. Find your niche. Who are you going to target market? Who is the, that customer is going to listen to you. That, so when you start talking, they go, man, he's right in my mind. He knows exactly what I want. That's what you want to do, is you want to find that target market. Know your audience so you know you can talk to them. The next key is you want to be known for one thing. So I teach people how to create an online business. 
And the reason I do that, because I didn't know how. So I'm trying to shorten the curve for everybody. For people that are in my target market, my target market I'm, I'm, are typically men and women, 40 years on up, on and up, have a family, right? Kind of living paycheck to paycheck, comfortable, but looking for something else and knowing a part-time job isn't gonna cut it. So they start looking online and see, I'm gonna shorten that curve for them because I've been there. I'm gonna show them how to get an online business up, create their first winning funnel and offer so they can start making money online. So what are you gonna be known for? That's the challenge, but you can do it. Next thing what you wanna do is you wanna get some testimonials. Reach out to your friends, ask them what are you good at? How have you helped them? Get some testimonials, put them in a Google Drive, either the videos or just with Facebook Messenger or something, get some testimonials and keep them around and then share them with people. So when you share them with people, they start seeing that people understand and know that you're gonna take them where they wanna go. So start asking for testimonials. Now here's the last one. So you're gonna find, you are going to find your niche. I know it, you're gonna find the perfect, perfect place for you to be. And when you find that niche, double down. Find out what's working. If you're into YouTube, do YouTube. If that's what's working for you. If you're into Facebook, do Facebook. If you're into Instagram, do Instagram. If you're into Pilates, do Pilates. I don't do Pilates, I, was, I don't know why that came. But here's what you wanna do. You wanna write down a statement like this. I help blank to blank by blank. I help men and women to learn how to build an online business that actually works by going through the actual steps that I put out in my course and I take them hand by hand. So make a statement. I help entrepreneurs to make money online by having their own business. I help people lose weight by taking this grapey grape shake. I don't know if you've ever heard of Ray Higgins. He does that, <laughs> that grapey grape. Uh, I help 20 year olds get six pack abs by a special workout that I put together. You can figure it out. So I hope that helps. The biggest thing, you're gonna brand yourself, be you, don't be anybody else. See, I am Mark Nelson, I will never change. I am gonna take you to the journey and help build your online business. I got a great freebie in the description. What I'd like you to do is hit that subscribe button, the one that goes ding, so we get notifications. Anyway, y'all take care. Peace. Love you. Bye.